It's half past six on Thursday, the 15th of March. We say farewell to Five Live and welcome you to BBC Radio Ulster. This is Good Morning Ulster with Noel Thompson and Karen Patterson. Good morning, our top story. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is under fire for failing to back explicit... Hi, Lawrence, it's me, Harvey. Um, I was just wondering, do you uh, fancy coming out to Ireland at all? Yeah, the uh, Belfast Telegraph have asked me to do a series of lifestyle articles for them. Uh, we'll be staying in Derry, we'll be going to Letterkenny, a little bit of Belfast. Should be quite good. Uh, you up for it? Great. Well, uh, sort out the flights, um, we'll arrange the dates, uh, get back to me, and uh, I'll see you then. All right, cheers for that, mate. Sorry, just to confirm that this is a homage to The Trip, starring Steve Coogan, and not a homage to The Journey, starring Alex Hunter. If you dare to turn up in a full football kit, then I'm afraid you're going to have to find your own accommodation. Why well, have they got the Palestinian flag up? Well, the Republicans, they support Palestine, and it's a unionist that like Israel. So they get Mandela, they get Palestine, what else do they want? Christ. Bit of that as well. Hi, it's me. Um, calling from Letter Kenny at the moment. Lovely little Irish town. Uh, with Lawrence. Uh, he's a bit of a handful, but uh, I'll keep him in check. Like. Um, missing you like mad. Um, hopefully things are going well in LA filming and everything. Um, uh, I was just thinking, um, when you finish with all that, uh, we could go down to that uh, Lee Tandoori I was showing you. You know, the Indian restaurant, the Leon Solon? I think I've shown you the pictures. Lovely little place, family owned. And um, it'd be great to see you. Uh, I'm missing you like that. And, um, you know, give me a call back when you get this message and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, um, like I say, hope everything's going well and uh, I'll see you soon. All right, love you. Bye. Oh. Uh, I left my wallet at the bottom. <laughs> Comedy? Yeah. Got this video? Yeah, nothing, nothing to show for it. I thought I get to put the milk in. You did it last time. Yeah, four years ago, people used to email me. They used to say, fantastic video, you should be on TV. You should be doing this, you should be doing that. Look what I'm doing now. Just out with you. Yeah, it's good. It's got nothing. £110 for that room cost. Split fifty-five pounds between the two of us, but you know, nothing. Winchester Cathedral. That's it, isn't it? We just replace the names of things that we see. Oh, 
Hi, it's me again. Uh, just thought I'd leave another message. Uh, I'm back in Derry now, uh, back in the Travel Lodge, so if you're a big fan of 80s architecture, it'd be the place for you. Um, notice you're not in the Big Alley anymore, you're in the Big Apple, or the Big Ant All, as they're calling it around here. That's a bit of Irish for you. Uh, picked that up on the old uh, flight tracker. It's uh, remarkable what you can do nowadays with a computer. Went on that Google Images for the first time this afternoon. Some bloody good images on there. I mean, if you if you weren't up for the Lee Tandori idea, you could just go, we could just get a takeaway and we could just uh, browse some bloody good images. Um, it's up to you. I mean, if you've got any ideas, I'm up for them. You know, like I say, I'm just, I'm just missing you like mad and, uh, and I love you and I want to see you soon. So uh, I cut this message short because you're probably busy with all your A-listers and, uh, and I'll, I'll definitely see you soon. Dad, who makes FIFA 18? EA. You and he were buddies. You and he were buddies. You and he were buddies, weren't you? Here I am, in this carpet right. I'm looking for an African lady. Four. I mean five. I mean fire. Hi Roy. Hi Jen. Well, I'll be Johnny Rogers if I'm not the villain of the piece, Roy. Memory is ram. Hello, Martin. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Puss Face. I've, I've, I've brought you a schmoigel. It sounds like somebody's breaking in. This is a leisure centre and not a playground, Colin. And I want you on your best behaviour. We've got the mayor coming down, and I don't want any tomfoolery from you, Colin. Good morning, Laura.
Welcome everyone. Me Holland with a hit pick here with you. The match today from Belfast. Today's contest between Meath and Armagh. A fine day for football. Gaelic Games Football came out in 2005, and for a while, in Ireland at least, it outsold the Call of Duty for that year. Aiming to be the first Gaelic football game on modern consoles, adapted by Australians from an existing AFL game, it was genuinely pretty awful. The tackling is non-existent, the passing is as well received as the passing of Princess Diana, and even the recreation of the four-step rule just involves taking your finger off the run button in annoying intervals. What is utterly bizarre, however, is that none of the players have real names. They just have a letter and a number. I believe this is because that they failed to get an agreement with the Gaelic Players Association, but you do have to wonder why they just didn't use fake names. Having said that, we do all of course remember P7. He went on to play in America for Alley Galaxy. Alright, fuck off, at least I'm trying. The game does have a sister title called Gaelic Games Hurling, released two years later. Now both games are pretty much identical, even sharing the admittedly good database of county teams. The only difference that I can see is a minor reskin to incorporate the hurls in the hurling game, which just leaves me feeling that both games could have easily have been one game, saving you at home a lot of money. Sorry, I don't know why I've brought the controller. You all know I'm not really playing. The PS2 is in Belfast. The second half underway. Midfielder. Knocks the ball to the ground. An effective hand pass there. I think the saddest thing about Gaelic Games football is like with a lot of minority sports, one good game could keep its fan base playing for a decade. It doesn't need a yearly release like FIFA, it just needs some decent physics and updatable squads. This game, however, has none of those things, and despite a sequel being released in 2007, we have to consider this experiment a failure. Oh, and you remember earlier when I said the outside Call of Duty? Well, most of those copies were sent back. OK, fine. To play us out, I'll check out the iToy feature. Now, does anybody remember Gooba from Stupid? Gooba, you bog house rat, what are you up to?